friends and welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. In our last video we did finish up the tutorial and make our way to Santa Monica where we have been collecting new quests and meeting new people like our group of thin blood vampires here. But in today's video I want to actually work on, let me get away from the music, not that it matters because I'm going to go to my quest long where there's nothing but music. But I want to work on the quest Surf's Up, and this is where I need to track down the junky pricks <laughs> who lived uh, up the stairs through the chain link fence. But apparently last time I got a new quest that I didn't even look at, and it's called Thinned Blood. And it says E is interested in knowing what thin bloods are. He knows only what his sire Lily told him before he parted ways with her. You might want to check out the Surfside Diner in town and see if she's there. And I don't know where that is, but I'll figure it out. But as I said, the goal for today is to head up the stairs here and take care of these junky pricks and get the stuff back for Mercurio. Oh, another loading area. And, and go from there. But let me crash down and see what's going on around here. Can I just talk to this guy? Maybe? Help ya. Hmm. Relax, I'm here to buy you know from you know who. Or yeah, you can start by moving the hell out of my way. Or yeah, I've always wondered if it's true intestines unraveled it to, to be 20 feet long. Hmm. Well, let's um try to charm our way in, maybe. Okay, you can go on it. And if you really want to make my night. Go ahead and start some shit in there, because I would love it. Um, I'll remember that. Thanks. I'm sure your personality has nothing to do with you being out here. <laughs> Let's hope it doesn't come to that for your sake. Yeah. Okay, so I've got my way in. But I feel like... It's over Damn, here. I want to hurt somebody. You were... Oh, real bad. Kind of weird. Oh. Could I have just snuck my way through here? I guess I could have. Alright, there's people there. I, think I broke my ring while I was beating on that Mercurio guy. Your ring? Do you wear rings? Lots of people wear rings. Yeah, a lot of girls wear rings. Not just girls. <laughs> Man, there are only two kind of guys that wear rings. And I don't remember you wearing a suit before. I'm just saying, dude from the beach could take a beat. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen a guy get worked like that and not fall apart. Honestly, I, I don't like it. I, I don't care if someone was coming. I think we should have wasted that good fellow looking mother when we had the chance. Why? We got his money. I got a bad feeling. I mean, we should have heard ambulances. Someone must have found him. Hey, see me tonight? I was all like, what Did that karate kick on him like Miyagi Sensei and shit? Yeah? yeah? What are you gonna do if that Mercurio dude or somebody comes back for his money? Should have killed him. Chill, man. I've seen you so damn scared before. Watch yourself, man. Right? I ain't scared. I'm sensible. We don't know who that mother was running. <laughs> Maybe the mob or something. I don't know. The mob? You do know that this is Southern California, right? Look, all I'm saying is I'd sleep a whole lot better if we'd have flushed that guy. You just deal me some damn cards, all right? Uh, you guys a little nervous? It's not the mob. It's just vampires come to kill you, okay? Ooh, can I turn the lights off? That'll be helpful, right? What the? Dude, who turned off the power? I was just about to unlock Shen Fix Long. the lights, damn it. You turn on the power, Fix bitch. Fix the lights, Get the Al. lights or I'll shove that control up your ass, Al. Uh, all right, man. Shit. Goddamn lights. I look like an electrician or some shit. Alright, got one of them down finally. And I have a gun. So let's save. <laughs> and let's get my gun out. Try this now. Do you think anybody else is gonna come?
feel like this is a very bad idea. Let's try to go in this way. There was a door over here. Let's see. Oh no, I've been seen. Save a lot because um, I'm not doing so great. <laughs> I keep dying. <laughs> okay, let's try sneaking in this way. Can I lockpick my way in here? Okay, I failed. So let's. Um, blood buff and then lockpick. And then let's get my gun out and try going this way now. And let's try... Oh, uh, where'd he go? Or is he just dead? I think he's just dead. All right, we're gonna save again as soon as I get. Okay. So there were a couple more dudes in hey, here. Stop, oh gosh, there's several more dudes. Ow. Can I feed? There we go. Just drain him dry. Does that heal us? It does heal us. Okay, great. Of course it heals us. I'll pick up a knife. Is that everybody? Did I finally do it? <laughs> okay. So I definitely need to get better at sneaking. Uh, car stereo, apparently. And I definitely, I, yeah, I definitely need to get better at sneaking. That's, that's for sure. But Blood Strike works great. Trance to come up behind him worked pretty good. Uh, but it definitely took several, several tries. But good to know. Okay. This is the front area. Is there anything over here? It doesn't seem to be. Oh, the astrolite. And then I also need to find money. I saw glowing in here. Money envelope. 250. Damn. Let me out, please. Okay, that was not as bad as I thought it would be. <laughs> I was getting a little nervous there for a second. Okay. Anyway, surf's up. You retrieve the astrolite for Mercurio, you should return to him and find out what your next steps should be. And here we are back at the suites to turn in our quest to Mercurio. Let's check in with him. Mercurio. Uh, I got the astrolite back. Yeah? Did you waste those sons of bitches? Oh yeah, they're, they're totally dead by now. They left me, oh, they unfortunately they left me no choice. Good. Great. Hope it was painful. Did you get my money back? Um. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I did, but I want to keep it. But here you go. Oh, you're a lifesaver. I might have to buy some new kidneys with this. Okay. So, what's the story with this astrolite? That astrolite? Twice as powerful as TNT. Instant demolition. Be on the other side of the world when you engage that timer. You need to make some place disappear. A warehouse. Looks to be a Sabbat interest. Hmm. What's a Sabbat? Maybe he can explain this to me. You haven't been doing this too long, have you? The Sabbat, as I understand it, are your typical power-hungry movie monsters. <laughs> specialize in causing grief. 
I tangle what they're like, let me tell you. I didn't enjoy it. Well, tell me about this warehouse. I heard a lot about that operation. Well, I'd love to get in there, get my hands on the equipment they've been unloading. But it'd be suicide to walk in there. Got a small army of trigger-happy types, and they're all packing. I don't know, maybe, uh... Maybe what? Uh, there's a guy. I never met him, but I heard a lot about him. His name is Tong. Bertram Tong. He's one of you types. If there's anyone who knows more than me about this city, it's him. Unfortunately, Tong's hiding out at the moment. Wh why? Tong's laying low because of Therese. Therese Vorman, you know her? No. Anyway, word is Therese and Tong are feuding. I don't know the details. My takes that Tong thinks he's about to get whacked, so he's gone underground till Therese calls it off. If you want to put that warehouse into orbit anytime soon, you're gonna have to get Therese to call off the feud. Okay, well, where can I find Therese, I suppose? She and her sister Jeanette, they run the asylum. Oh. Some freaky customers frequent that place. I try not to do business there. Well, what can you tell me about Therese? She's the woman around here. Power player. Nice looking broad for a dead chick, but uh, personality like stone. <laughs> okay, let's ask about someone else. Who exactly? And Jeanette Vorman, that was the sister, right? Therese, Therese I don't like, but I can respect her. Jeanette's different. I don't know what to make of her. She's a little, you know, in the head. I don't know. Therese is, well, like you. And I would think so is Jeanette. But I hear rumors about her. Rumors? I, I do love a good rumor. Call me old-fashioned, but uh, I just can't talk about that kind of thing in front of a woman. Seriously? So if I played a guy character, you would? Ugh, whatever. Yeah, call me old-fashioned, but I believe a knee to the balls always makes guys talk. <laughs> All right. Jeanette? Got a body built for bedrooms. And I got close acquaintances says they conquered that territory. But I asked the main man, and he says you types, you know, can't or don't or do that kind of thing. Really? Anyway, whatever she is, I hear Jeanette's a wild girl. Huh. Okay. Who exactly? Bertram Tongue. I don't know him myself. I'd like to meet the guy. Kind of a local legend. He and Therese seem to be contenders for this city. He's crafty. Smart guy. I haven't heard anything bad about him. Hmm. Okay, let's try... Who exactly? Yourself. What's to tell? I can get anything anyone wants at any time. Could say it's my calling. Till the astrolite. Wasn't anything I couldn't handle. Well, back east some shit went down. Big Apple can't go back. I hate LA, but what are you gonna do? Hmm. You said something about blood. Right. You're straight off the bus. Once a month I get fed vampire blood. Heals me faster. Makes me stronger than a normal human. I don't age. By looking at me, you wouldn't realize it, but I'm almost 60. Oh, yeah. We already had this conversation. Again, why am I only hearing him in one ear? But anyway, I have questions about Santa Monica. Specifically? Well, ooh, where can I score some guns? Once I stop leaking my guts out, I'll be back in the game. I can get some specialty stuff, but it's gonna take some time. If you can keep quiet about the Astrolite deal, I'd be willing to supply you. Okay. Specifically? Um, tell me about the, some of the power players in Santa Monica. Who exactly? Okay, never mind. I guess that's everything. Okay, so I have explosive beginning. Mercurio has told you about a warehouse being used by the Sabbat that must be infiltrated and destroyed. The problem is that Bertram Tongue, the only person who might be able to get you in, is in hiding because of a feud with Therese Vorman, the owner of the asylum. To get to Tongue, you have to find some way to call off that feud. And then surface up is complete. You retrieve the astrolite and return to Mercurio for further instructions. Let me see, do I have enough? I have six points now. Hmm. Hmm. All right, I was gonna level up, but I kind of want to say for the taumaturgy, I feel like I'm still saying that wrong, uh, points because they look like useful. <laughs> they look very useful. So we'll see. If I, if I get in a bind, I'll, I'll up my sneak, but I kind of want to wait and see how it goes. But anyway, off to the asylum we go. Now, I know it was through here was the sign, but I also want to go to Second Street and see what's there. It's over here. 
Okay, black pick. Let's try to avoid going into places that I might need to go into later, I imagine. Would probably be the best way to do it. Oh look, the asylum on 2nd Street. Featuring Die My Darling and The Empire Hideous. So early 2000s. <laughs> Our flashing wall still still active. Huh. Boxy boxes. Can't go in there. Asylum is where I need to go. Oh, look, more flashing. It concerns me. Oh, and the diner. Okay. Just back off. Let's see, what else do we have around here? Brother Salvage? Every second takes us closer to the time of judgment. Time of judgment gets closer every second. Okay. Is that it? Corruption of the soul is pandemic. There is no hiding your true face to the judge of souls. Redemption cannot be bought and sold. There is no mercy for the deviant. Okay. It's over here. Oh, it's the Kilpatrick guy, the one I got the email from. Mail bondsman. No hiding okay. True huh. face to the judge of souls. Redemption. Huh. Cannot be bought and sold. Diner. Sorry, there I just want to no wander around and see what's over here. More prostitutes. A smoke shop. That has no working door. It looks like apartment buildings. Yeah, it looks like... Hmm, I'm going to have to look into this. Flashing. Bio That's probably fine, though. Excuse me. All right, well, let's quick save and... This looks really cool. It's a club, right? That's what they said. Looks really cool. What do we have here? Oh. Another scrumptious young plaything straight out of life and into my club? You smell new, little girl. Like fabric softener do on freshly mowed AstroTurf. Oh, I'm not frightening you, am I, duckling? No, but your voice sounds familiar and I can't quite place it just yet. But, uh, who, who are you? <laughs> I'm the finger down your spine when all the lights are out. And the name on all the men's room walls. When I pout, the whole world tries to make me smile. And everyone always wants to know who is that girl. Um, <laughs> well, aren't you a tease? Kid? Got a name I can remember you by? I am Jeanette. Oh. And this bit of chaos crammed in a certifiable giggle is my club. Oh, I just love to give you funny feelings all night, sweetheart, but I really must trouble with some business. We'll reunite Sweden soon, I promise. Um, sorry, I'm just looking at the people in the background and I'm just like, okay. <laughs> Well, soon can't come soon enough. Goodbye. Well, we're definitely in a club now. Well, let's talk to people. Hey there. Um, yeah, I'm looking for Therese. Where can I find her? Therese? She's upstairs. She said she has business to attend to, but I can hear her and Jeanette bickering from here. Why do you need to see her? Hmm. I called earlier. I have an interview for the part-time hostess position. Damn. I wish it was my job. Go on up and see her. Take the elevator over there. Thanks. Like, you can barely hear the bartender. <laughs> it's a total... Hi. Um, um. Hey, what are you doing out of my dreams, beautiful? Oh, gosh. <laughs> How about that weather, huh? Nice weather it is, right? Like what you see, I know I do. Oh, jeez. No, we're just going to go away. Is this the guy from outside? Hey, Nox. What's going on? Yeah, not much. Just waiting around for my master. Um, 
That master you couldn't talk about? Okay, okay. I guess I can tell you about it. Oh, man, his name's Bertram Toe. Oh. He's a Nosferatu. Oh. Um, well, what do you do for him? Oh, man. Wow. Bertram had me keeping an eye on this guy. This Asian dude who's been poking around Santa Monica. Bertram thought he might be a vampire or something like a vampire. I don't know. Well, tell me about this Asian dude. Oh, man, this guy, this... This thing got wise to me. Now instead of me watching him, he's watching me, you know? I see this guy appear around me all the time, like up in the distance watching me, he'll warp up next to me. Oh man, and disappear. Um something about your story is a little off, Knox. Want me to take care of it? That must be unnerving. Yeah, his story seems off. Oh, what are you saying? Look, Knox. Tell the truth, and I might help you. I'm just gonna go with blue because that seems to work well for me. I don't know what you're talking about. Eh? Anyway, why should I tell you anything, huh? You're not being straight with me. I am, though. Okay, okay, okay. Damn it. Damn. All right, bro. I messed up. Okay. I'm just doing what I'm told, though. Okay. Continue. Bertram knew you were coming. Knew you'd come by here. Planted me and told me what to say about the Asian guy. I swear. And everything else is true, too. This Asian guy needs to be taken out. Here with me. Bertram needs you to. <laughs> he could have just asked me. I don't know. Why would I want to do you a favor after this? Yeah, let's go with that one. Bad news for all of us. Bertram says there could be an army of them show up any day unless we show we need business. Okay, fine. I'll I'll, I'll do the quest because I'm going to. <laughs> it's first first time here, so I got to try everything. Hell yeah! Right on. Okay, like I said, he's some kind of Asian vampire thing, you know? The only clue I got is this driver's license that he dropped once while I was tailing him. I've been so freaked out that I haven't even had a chance to check it out. Driver's license, shouldn't that tell you who he is, though? No. The picture <laughs> on the license isn't him. I don't know why he had it, but, well, it might help you find out where he is and what he's doing. Here, take it. Okay, I'll take care of it. Right on! Just come back and let me know the job's done so I can stop freaking out. Oh, Maybe I'll see Bertram by then. You are so junkied out. Sounds good, Knox. I have a couple questions, though. Oh, man, yeah! Sure, what do you want to know? Hmm. Uh, I meant to ask you, where is Bertram? Oh man, I wish I knew where he was. I'm getting antsy waiting around for him. I need to tell him some stuff, you know? I don't know where he is or stays or anything. Oh man, I... Whatever he needs me, just, you know, appears. Appears, yeah. So what's he like? Oh man, well, he's like the only vampire I know, but, well, he seems Pretty damn powerful. Oh man, when he's looking at you, it's like he's really spinning your brain. You know, it's like trippy. It's crazy. Man, but I guess that's the no thing, you know? <laughs> they like know everything. I, I guess. Uh, and how does he get in touch with you? It's crazy. He just appears out of like thin air. First time, he, bam! Like you give me a goddamn heart attack. <laughs> oh man, especially how he looks. Ugh. <laughs> the first time? So why did he choose you? Bertram says he needed someone to do something. Oh man, he's been watching me work as a bounty hunter for a while. Man, me. Oh man, it's so cool. It's like a job promotion. Only I get to like live forever and stuff. <laughs> That's cool. Bye. I do appreciate his jacket though. Oh my gosh, this music is so loud. I'm totally at a club. But yet the dancing is insane. Wait, 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 wait. Where is it? I... <laughs> oh my god, this is great. This 
Dance Dance you should happen everywhere. Look. Guy stuck in the 70s. The guy with his head mask on. Alright, gotta go, people. I gotta go. I gotta go. Um, is this, no. Is this a ladies' room? Men's room? What's upstairs? <laughs> the best ever. Sheesh, is this place always so dead? Um, <laughs> yeah, more than you think. <laughs> I thought coming to LA was going to be more exciting than Arizona. I didn't come all this way just for watered down booze. Hmm. Um, maybe I'm what you came all the way out here for. Maybe? We can try it? No, I don't need it. If I hear anything going on, I'll stop by and tell you. I'm guessing these are all options to feed. Right? Excuse me. This is crazy. I love this game so much. <laughs> All right, let's save, and then we'll take the elevator up. Oh, my ears, though. Second floor. There we go. Oh, that's a nice touch. It, it mutes as you go up to the second floor. Oh, that's right. No, I, I need the second floor, please. Can you open? Thank you. Oh, look. A gold ring. Carnival of Death. We already saw you? that. Last time I looked, it was called Santa Monica. Not stuck up this. I'm oh, I can't even look at you sometimes. Oh, Karee. You really do kind of flatter and force it at me with your kind of the century barb. I always assumed you could do nothing but look down on me. Just the sight of you. The sight of that wicked, painted house. Concealing that dirty, diseased mind. Sin! You have no sin. <laughs> Let's see who is without sin past the fierce tone. Go ahead and mock me. You pull your pranks, make fun of my ways. It suits you. You're just one big joke. Don't you call me that? Did I start calling a duck a pig as well? I'm your sister. How can you treat me like this? That's it, Jeanette. Run away from the truth. I'll take care of everything, as always. Hmm. Lovely siblings, but they're vampires. It's not like they're gonna be nice, right? Where did she go? Hi, Therese, right? Please, come in. I do apologize for my sister's crassness if it made you uncomfortable. She's unabashedly scandalous, but in the club business, I suppose that kind of personality is a necessary evil. Uh it's fine. She's flirty. I flirted back. It's not the big a deal. If you say so, I guess that means you're Therese. I'm just glad she's gone. You are Therese. Jeanette, she was no trouble. I will just go with that one. Nonsense. She's nothing but. <laughs> okay. Well, um, are you Therese then? Therese Vorman, yes. I'm the proprietor of this club, and the only person in this city whose good side it's in your best interest to stay on. What brings you to Santa Monica? Well, I, I need you to call off the feud with Bertram Tongue. Let's not get into who owns the club. That's not going to get us anywhere. Tongue's exile is self-imposed, I assure you. But then what reason would I have not to hate that loathsome Nosferatu scoundrel? Bloody Nosferatu. They're so unclean. <laughs> okay. Um, your phobias don't concern me. Just tell him everything's cool. But why do you hate him? He meddles in my affairs. He's a bad influence on my sister and she on him. If you were in my place, would you let him compromise your authority? You most certainly would not. I'd quite like it if I never had to hear that name again. Okay. Then, can you put the word out that you've got no feud with him? Or do you want to find and kill him? Well, let's go with the first one. That sounds easier. Why would I do that? Let him think I mean to kill him. That way I don't have to worry about him sabotaging everything. Do you realize how his subterfuge makes me look to the Camarilla? No. Um, yeah, that's unfortunate, but I do need to see him. Tongue and his co-conspirator's actions ruined my chance at partnership in a crucial piece of property. I do have several other promising ventures, and one in particular has been, to say the least, an ordeal. Hmm. I'd be willing to put the word out that my grievances with Tongue have been swept under the rug, but in return... 
You'll have to help me remove a particularly burdensome spirit from a property I'm looking to invest in. A spirit? Yeah, like a ghost? Hmm. Yeah, let's try that one. Oh, I forgot. You're still new to this. Mm -hmm. Allow me to break you in. Yes, ghosts exist. Werewolves, mummies, and I'd expect a whole lot of other things I've never seen share the night with us. Huh. Mummies. Huh. Okay. So, I don't have time for this Halloween bullshit. We do, actually. Sure, I'll do it. What do I have to do to get rid of the ghost? And if I were to kill you, wouldn't Bertrand come out of hiding? Um, we're not really good at being vampires yet, Caroline, so let's not threaten to kill her. <laughs> Rumor is that a personal item of a ghost may be used to draw it out or excise it from its haunt. While I don't put a lot of stock in hearsay, it's my last option. So I want you to go to the Ocean House Hotel, find an item of the spirits, and bring it back. If I do that, you promise we'll call off the feud, and what if I can't find one? Hmm. Why don't you go? Let's go with the second one. If you have to tear the building apart, do so. Three construction crews have already refused to go back to work because they've been spooked, so to speak. Hmm. So how do I fight a ghost? You don't. They're perfectly harmless. Okay. Well, yeah, if I do this, you'll call off the feud, right? Oh, I fully intend to do so. You'll find that dealing with me on the whole is appreciably more predictable than dealing with some of the egomaniacs that are my peers. So long as our business doesn't go sour, my word is gold. Hmm. Is that what a dog call when a dog matches a stick? Okay. Um, I guess I can respect that and appreciate it. Bye. Before I forget, take this. The only way to reach the ocean house this time of night is through a tunnel in the sewers. You'll need that key to open the gate for that tunnel. <laughs> okay. The sewers, you're really pushing it now? Yeah. Listen, you're young and naive, so I'll offer you this chance one more time. Continued existence versus a beautiful sunrise. I'd give it serious consideration. Okay, fine. I did... It's a joke. If you'll excuse me, I've got situations to set straight. But I have questions. Why do you hate Bertram Tongue? He meddles in my affairs. Oh, yeah. He's a bad influence. We did that. Well, tell me a little about your twin sister, Jeanette. Jeanette is the freak show I keep around to lure in curiosity seekers. She's very good with the clientele, but her business skills are approximate to those of a four-year-old with a one-dollar bill and a five-and-dime. Okay. See, what am I supposed to be doing at Ocean House Hotel? And, uh, no, I guess that's it. Hmm. Well. That's not creepy at all. Not at all. And by not at all, I'd be completely sarcastic. Oh, there's a computer. And, let's see. Is Jeanette in here? Hmm. Rock me Amadeus, guns don't kill people. <laughs> guns, don't, guns don't kill people do. There we go. Girls rock. There's only one bed here. That's weird. Okay, well, let me save. What does it say over here? My bunny is cuter than yours. <laughs> okay. And let's try to see if we can get in the computer. So email. Uh, let's try to hack. Okay, let's quit and do a blood buff. Oh, really? Decide. Oh. Well, then I need to find the password. Right? Hmm. That sucks. I want to be nosy. All right, well, let's look at my quest log because I've got a couple. See, the ghost haunts at midnight. Therese has asked you to go to the Ocean House Hotel and search for a personal item of the spirit that haunts the place and bring it back to her. The only way to get to the Ocean House is through the sewers. And then the Hunted Hunter. Knox is being stalked by a, quote, Asian vampire. He wants it to go away and has asked for your help. He has given you a license in the hopes it will provide some useful information. Okay, well, um, 
I'm not really sure where to start looking for the Asian vampire. So why don't we go and do this haunted house thing? That sounds like so much fun. <laughs> so many jump scares, I'm sure, coming my way. sewer entrance, right? There was one by our house, so let's go back to that one over there. Lovely evening. Lovely evening. Oh, there's one right here. But how do I get there? Oh, there's a map. Perfect. So you are here, and we need to go to Ocean House. So to my right and then left. Oh, that's not what I meant to do, but it worked. To my right. And then left. Access point A. <laughs> okay, that, that works. And out we go. Hmm. Well, this sounds creepy. Well, it's a haunted house, so no one's supposed to be here. Just spirits that are completely harmless, right? I don't believe you. <laughs> okay, let's see if there's anything in here. Ocean house front key door. Front door key. That's probably the right order. Okay. Anything else out here? is appropriately creepy. Anything else? Where was the sewer entrance? It was over there. Okay. All right, well, let's save again and into the creepy hotel. Very nice view. Oh, crap. <sighs> Okay, I already don't like it here. Just putting it out there. starting to hurt. Alright, there's nothing over here. Let's go. Is there anything over here? Oh gosh. Okay, this is becoming a problem. Grand opening. Santa Monica celebrates the new Ocean House Hotel. Okay. Um, I still have blood bags on me, right? I do, so I can always eat some of those if I need to get health back, right? Not 
not okay. Is that? Oh, it's a can. <laughs> See, we have an elevator and all right nothing else downstairs let's uh go upstairs oh it looks like my health has come back over time good that that helps okay um oh my gosh Difficulty of eight. Failed. Okay. Um, there's an elevator over there. Okay. Um, all right, let's blood buff. No, wait, I have to... Blood buff only gives me five, right? <laughs> She was going that way, but what was she running from? Do I want to know? All right, let's go this way. Follow the ghost. Same door. Oh wait, there is something here. Okay. Hotel hell. Child severed head found in hotel laundry room. I hear the laundry machine going. Sure. Boiler room key. This key is labeled boiler room. Um, I gotta save. <laughs> this place is really freaking me out. Okay. Hotel. 
at all. But hey, look, the lights are on. <laughs> Something right. The elevator works, that's why I had to go to the boiler room. I didn't push the button for the elevator. <laughs> Don't hit me! Ugh. There's a ghost over there. There are bad noises. There's a ghost over there. You see her? Oh my gosh. Run away! I really don't like this place at all. Okay. Another body. Police say second child was chopped up like firewood. Oh my gosh, this place is so horrible. Is that what I was hearing? Chopping noises? Oh my god. Oh my god, this place. Elevator. Okay, but I didn't go over to this door yet. So I, I need to, I feel obligated to investigate all corners of the creepy haunted house. Where is that noise coming from? of 10. All right, I guess we'll come over this way then. I am like so stressed out right now. <laughs> Daddy's a monster. Anything else in here to look at? Okay. I am getting out right now. No problem. Okay. Um. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Because everything else was locked. Let's go back down this way. See if any of these doors unlocked. sure where to go next in this haunted house and I'm kind of okay with that because I, I would like to be done for today because I've had plenty of jump scares. So on Tuesday we will pick back up here at this very haunted house <laughs> and try to find find the thing for Therese so she can cleanse it of its evil spiritness and then we'll go from there. <laughs> but as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe and I will see you again on Tuesday with another new Vampire the Masquerade video.